I'm, I'm going to take you from this to this. Yeah. Hi everyone, it's Jan from RuPaul's Drag Race, but baby, I am not alone. Today I am joined with my sisters, Lemon and Cheryl. Woo! Hi, doll. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Diva. Hello. The gay universe has spoken. It has brought us together for the VMAs right here, right now. And I am so excited. We are going to do this three-way makeup tutorial for all of you today. Ladies, are we excited? Oh my god, I can't wait. Diva, I'm ready. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Drag Race, Canada's Drag Race, and RuPaul's Drag Race UK in the house. <laughs> Literally international divas. Seriously, ask and you shall receive and y'all brought us together and we're so excited to be here. So now before we get into all of the business, I need to know who are y'all recreating? I had to do the most legendary in my opinion, Madonna and have to go with Vogue. You know what I mean? The Marie Antoinette fantasy that every gay has was birthed from. Oh yeah, I, I love Madonna. Cheryl, who are you doing? Diva, you know me. I love some Lady Shazha. So I had to throw it back to 2009 when she gagged the world and I had to recreate the paparazzi moment. I'm crying. I mean, it's just, it's a Fritz Bernays, if you ask me. I am doing Ariana Grande for God is a Woman at the 2018 VMAs. I was actually in the audience and I saw it live in person. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna give Ariana another moment with this incredible performance. So we're here and we're ready to do it for all of you. Alrighty dolls, let's get into it. And um, for me at least, I am going to start by taking off my makeup and then putting <laughs> some more back on. I'm about to start blocking these brows because I'm the only one here who has any. <laughs> we're taking away. Congratulations. We, well, Cheryl has a nub, so we are all in different um, forms of our eyebrow moments, correct? We have small, medium, and large eyebrows up in here. <laughs> <laughs> and Lemon, what are you using to cover your brows? Because I know that everybody has a different method. I literally just do like classic glue stick. It's just, you know, it's the easiest to get off. And when I want to get out of drag, I need to be out of drag immediately. You know what I mean? I cannot glue down my brows because I have one beam of sweat and they just disappear and I'm like, a diva, a diva can't be losing her eyebrows halfway through the gig. No. Yeah, that's why I just don't work hard. <laughs> <laughs> just the level of mediocrity that you aspire to be. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> Is anybody doing anything differently than what they would normally do? What? Well, for their normal makeup or is, or is the base the same? I think pretty much um, everything is the same for me because <laughs> I'm not being funny, right? Miss Girl Girl, she's very inspired me. So, very inspired. I can't even speak English. She, she, she inspires a lot. We originated to the, to the language. <laughs> so I have to say everything is very true to what I do. So I'm very blessed that Miss Girl Girl basically did a shed's face. Honestly, go off. Mine's quite different <laughs> from what I normally do, but I, I'm gonna drag up a little bit what Madonna did. So make it work, work for me, you know? My base is the same. I just use a primer and then I'm gonna use all of my creams, but then my brow is gonna be significantly different than what I normally do. Go off, sis. So I'm gonna color correct under my eyes because honey, she's been, she got a new mattress, but she's not sleeping. She's tired. I have nightmares. Yeah, she, she is tired. <laughs> EJ and I were talking about this the other day and I just have nightmares all the time. I think I have a nightmare every other night, which is super exciting um, and really great for me. So I have no idea what that means. So I'll have to talk to my therapist about well, that, but hopefully we have some well, answers this, to come back this to. This clearly <laughs> isn't your night, is it, Jam? <laughs> and that's what my nightmares are all about. It's just, a, it's re me replaying my um, my lip sync versus Widow. And uh, as Lady Gaga once said, the scars on my mind are on replay. Re replay A. I guess it's more like Shaka can't. <laughs> Everybody, the winner of the reading challenge. <laughs> you talk about having sex a lot, but the only thing you're is stupid. Oh, you're doing danger, Jumpin'. You're doing 
be, I feel like I'd be like on China if I went back to do a reading challenge. I'd be like, um, uh, you, you're nice and thank you for being here. And you know, I would like the cheese sandwich for lunch, please. Thank you, RuPaul. <laughs> you you absolutely sandwich. would be. And you'd get that cheese sandwich. Like you just defer to people who are on the set. <laughs> like you're like, I can't even look at the contestants in the eyes. I have to talk to talent. <laughs> See, I've recently changed my highlighter to a, a brighter highlighter because I like quite a warm face, but it was actually you, Jan, because you use like a white, don't you? I feel like my skin um, and the foundation that I use is a little yellow for my skin, but then once I use the white and then once I do the brown for the contour, everything kind of balances out. But I feel like the white just really, really, when I started doing that, it just changed my face completely. It just like opens everything up and makes it brighter. And I used to take it a lot further down and now I keep it quite high and in the face here, just so it like, you know? But look, look at that, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, or as the kids say, whoa. <laughs> Oh, whoa. <laughs> is that what it's called? I think so. Is this, what's this one? That's the whoa? I think I'm the, I, I think is so. It? I think I'm the eldest of this group, unfortunately, and whoa. Only by like, can we get a fact? A month. Wait, no, no, no. You're June, I'm October, right? Yeah, you're 26 right now, Yeah, and right? I'm gonna be 27 in October. The fact that I'm the oldest is really a thrill. What's your star sign? Well, I was a Libra. I don't know. I don't know what I am anymore. <laughs> I'm a Gemini, and I think that that scans for me. It does. Lemon, as my former roommate, would you agree? Yeah, it does. But I, I get along really well with Gemini's. Like all my like best friends are Gemini's. So some people have right. like a thing about Gemini's, but I don't. See it that way. Yeah, I will say we don't have the best reputation. <laughs> yeah. For whatever reason. <laughs> Who knows? But I but I like to think I'm fine. <laughs> I'm very unbalanced. So that's the Libra. <laughs> si si silence. It's <laughs> moving swiftly on. <laughs> I'm like Katy Perry, hot and cold. Yes and no. <laughs> what a great music video. When you look at the VMAs and you think of the history of everything. There's been some truly iconic moments. You've had Miley twerking against Robin Thicke. You've had Britney and Madonna having a smoochie on the stage. But I think, I think for me, it was always going back to Gaga and just shocking the world the minute she started bleeding out of her little left booby. And I was just like, She's changed the game like my name's RuPaul. I remember my little gay New Jersey Catholic schoolboy was just like freaking out in my living room, screaming. Thought the cameras were gonna cut. I was like, something's wrong. And then I was like, oh wait, no, it's fake. And she's literally serving it to us in such an iconic way. And didn't she get blood in her eye? She got blood in her eye and like kept singing like with just like fake blood in her eye like and when she goes up on the thing and she's just like to the side looking at the camera honey that was what my face crack was named uh was uh designed after okay she was just deadpan <laughs> to the camera and i live everybody in the audience was like right <laughs> Oh, my favorite is just like the ripped recording from YouTube that I have on my iTunes that I listen to time and time again. And you could just, when she starts to bleed, you can't see the visual, but you can hear the visual because the audience goes, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm doing Ariana Grande. And uh, I was at this actual VMA performance that she did God is a Woman. Gag. Sorry, I just got powder in my eye. Ariana's my diva. So is Gaga, to be frank. Yes. Um, which is why I'm super happy about um, Rain On Me, nominated for so many MTV um, Music Video Awards this oh, year. Oh, she's coming in for a thrill. <laughs> she's coming in for the kill and she's doing it for a thrill. It deserves all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go again, queen. Always raising flawlessly. the bar and doing it flawlessly. Pat a cake, pat a cake. Shez, you better already be powdering. Oh my God, she's moving so quick. I'm like just taking some concealer and covering up these brows. I wish there was a sheet mask that I could literally go 
and it's on because I literally can't, I don't know how people sit there for three hours doing a face, because I'm just like, I want it in, I want it out, I want to get to the gig, I want to turn the party, and I will live my best life. I was gonna say, babe, I was like, if you don't know how people sit there for three hours, just watch me and Lemon go, because <laughs> we're about to do just that. I love it, I think it's so fun. It's like painting, it's literally painting. It's just so like... Oh, truly. Like fun, I don't know. But I, I get what you're saying too. There are definitely times where like, yeah. I have to perform. Right. I don't want to do feel my makeup. <laughs> But, but yeah, I like, See, I like I doing so it when I like want to be having to be, you know? a bag in a suitcase that I turn up to a hotel, throw it all out, get it on and get to the venue. So I, would, I wouldn't have that long to do it. But now I've got a nice little setup at home. I can do a face, I could do a face uh -huh. in half an hour now. Oh my God. I look in the mirror and don't do anything <laughs> for half an hour. I'll be right. honest. Oh, geez. I'll be honest, if I'm in a room full of yeah, girls, just, like, so say to if three look. of us were in a room getting ready together, I would take three hours because I'd be like, Go, put my mask on! Oh my god. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Chromatica, shall we? Well, I was I was there for you at that <laughs> midnight when you, you first started listening. I was like, you play Alice. <laughs> you were... I have to say that was one of the best nights of 2020 for me. Um, I turned my um, I turned my apartment into a little club, uh, and I had some lights that my lovely father, who uh, was a DJ um, 20 years ago, gave to me for my digital shows. But honey, I put them all on, and the, I swear to God, the second I heard my name is an Alice, I was like, and this is how we're starting. My God, I knew it was just gonna be the greatest and I, I think that it's it's her best, I really do. I'll keep looking for Wonderland. <laughs> Truly bop after bop. It's so sad though, cause it's like the perfect dance like club tracks and like the only time we can't go out I know, and dance. but you know what? I was having this conversation yesterday, truly, and I was like, I think that once everything is back open, we'll still be wanting to listen to all of it. I, j I, I think that, oh, and I think that sure. it's because, like, I, I think, like, the second we're all allowed to do it, it's like that's what's gonna be playing. Like, I think that everyone's just like, oh, wait, no, yeah, we're playing Chromatica. Oh, that. I'm, I'm wanting to open a nightclub that is just strictly called Chromatica. I'll probably get a cease and desist, but right. <laughs> I just want to listen to this album. Honey, no, ask for a collab. Gaga, if you are listening, Cheryl Hall is available for anything you would like. Just hit me up, I'll be on a plane. For sure. I mean, it's not out of the question. Gaga loves the dolls. Nominated for so many VMAs. I think that it is the no more tears of our generation. I think we're gonna be listening to this song for decades. It's just, I think it's just so good. Song of the summer. It really song is. Song of the just... summer. SOS. But every year, you look back, you go to 2007, Rihanna owned 2007 with Umbrella. That is Rain On Me. Rih Rihanna owns every year for me and she's still not. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Lemon, what's, what's your song of the summer from Rihanna right now? It's literally Watch and Learn. Watch and Learn. Oh, it's baby, like I know Watch and Learn. Do it, do it up, and so up good. <laughs> Well, you know Watch and Learn, but... <laughs> that is still my bop of the summer. I'm just waiting for her to release the next one. But I'm like a Rihanna stan. You do. Girl, like, you and me too. Do you want to like know a story? Jenny, I went to see Rihanna. I went to see Rihanna in 2013. I and she did Twickenham Stadium, which is in South London. It's like 60,000 people. Huge. Major. But... She couldn't do the full show because of the stadium. Mm -hmm. You couldn't do like the production of the show. So I really wanted to see her perform Mother Mary live. So I bought a ticket to go see her in Birmingham like a week later. And bear in mind, this was in the middle of summer over here. When summer is hot over here, the whole country shuts down. It's like when it snows, nothing can happen. So um, 
we were in this arena and you know a diva she likes to take her time to get onto the stage <laughs> and i was literally <laughs> sweating so much in this arena and my friend god bless her she went i need i need to get out i need to get out i feel like i'm gonna either throw up or pass out so we got over the barrier <gasps> and then she collapsed into a uh, wheelchair by the medics as we get taken out of the arena the lights go down rihanna comes on and i was like no i, I was two that. people away two people oh my away God. i would have i would have blown her a big kiss and said like good luck honey and let her go like i would have I'm sorry, that's my best friend in the world. I'd be like, well, we're at Rihanna, so if you need back to out paint, Riri. that's okay. Oh my we'll do God. it over Back there. out Riri was two people away this from me. This is my me, time. And I had to go and miss the whole of Fresh Out the Runway <laughs> in a medical room. I feel like I need a bit of blush on the face right now, but I'm not sure. Because the, the outfit is like very white. I don't want to just detract from it too much but i don't know whether to go for a peachy blush or a pinky blush i mean i'm always team pink like personally but i use like a pink orange for my normal face almost every single time so <laughs> both of you are on different steps i was gonna say lemon you do your eyes you yes. do your brows first and like the top half of your foundation and then yeah because i don't half, like correct? um like when there's fallout you know, I obviously people like powder and then you brush the fallout off, but I just like to have yeah. like less makeup than that. <laughs> but I just find like when the fallout happens, it like I've... tints your skin usually. So if there's like, if I'm doing like a blue eye or something and it like falls down, then all my skin ends up looking blue, I find. You start maybe looking maybe ashy. That's just, maybe that's totally. just really bad at makeup though, who knows? <laughs> No, no. Sometimes when I'm doing blue, um, I have to, I really have to powder and cover everything up. And like, if it gets on me, I have to like brush it away immediately because it's so, um, I feel like it gets yeah, too You look like Davina to Campo. Uh, I don't think. Ah! <laughs> Red wig and a silver dress. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> Iconic moment. I love, I love you. I love all three of us just being right beside the drama all the time. <laughs> so I've just finished my base, what I class as my base. Now, in Gaga's look at the VMAs, she has a very like starky blondy brow. So it kind of looks like it's not there, but I love a brow that pops, so I'm tweaking this slightly and I'm doing a quintessential Chez X Gaga brow. When you're doing a recreation like Lady Gaga or Ariana or Madonna, like they are, like their bone structure just as like biological females is so much different than ours. So we kind of have to do what works for us to make sure that the illusion comes together. Because I know that Ariana does, doesn't really do like a slight, like, like she, she does like a very slight crease and I am somebody who, if I don't have a crease, gorgeous, it's not gonna work. So mine's gonna be a little more pronounced, but I am, um, I'm about to get into my eyebrows and my eyebrows for Ariana are definitely different than um, Jan's normal brows. But I feel like that's a good note for like all drag makeup. You, you do have to kind of play with what works on your bone structure and on your face because you know everyone's face is so different and like you can't just you, you you're never gonna look like another person in makeup you just have to find like your drag face and like your shapes and like where what you think looks best on you you know 100 100 and for me when I was first starting out in drag I'm like a person that can't learn by watching so I've got to literally sit there and practice on myself. So when I figured out my drag face, it was purely by just figuring out what works on my face instead of trying to emulate a YouTube video because I sat there and I tried to watch Miss Fame's video and I just couldn't follow it. Yeah, I mean, I think we've all done that, like tried to recreate someone else's makeup and then it's like, hmm, 
I don't look like plastique tiara. That's so weird. And Lemon, you're like, I do like your, um, your process because you can clean up the top and the bottom. And I feel like when I'm doing my brows, I really have to make sure that the top is kind of clean because if I don't, it's so much more difficult and looks much messier when I clean up the top with like cream. I can get away with it on the bottom, but on the top, no way. Yeah, I literally foundation like everywhere around it and just like make it really sharp. But I just like really sharp lines in my makeup. So I kind of do that with like most things. Like when I do liner, I'm, I'm not doing it today. But when I do like a big liner, I usually do the same thing. Like I'll take a concealer and just like underneath it so that it looks super like crisp. Do you know who I love with their liner is Britta. That white in between. I was like, I can't pull this off. No, her makeup's flawless, but it's also because she has like a big canvas to work with. No shade, like in a gorgeous way. But her face is just like, like has so much space to like play. Like I feel like sometimes when I, like sometimes the angle of my eyebrows, you can't even see when I'm looking straight forward. <laughs> but when I turn, it's like a full thing. Wait, now Cheryl, because you use like the bit in the front, I used to do that too. But the problem with me is that it never would blend well. And I am looking at your face right now and I'm going, what's real, what's not? What are the tr tips and tricks you have for your brow? I use a real heavy like pomade. So I I do the outline, but then I go into the actual hairs of my brow and then work the product into the hair. And then I get a powder and I set it all, but I also keep it very natural here, but then I bring the heavy powder out like that, like so. I wanna know, how has your makeup changed or has it changed since you've been on the show. Do you know what? I don't think it's changed dramatically. My brows are a lot higher. <laughs> My lips are a lot smaller. <laughs> and and the chin contour is a lot heavier because she's gained two stones since Drag Race. <laughs> Mine's changed a lot, but like, I don't know specifically. I feel like just the more I do makeup, the more I like know what I'm doing. You know, and I still feel like I've, you know, been doing drag now for two and a half years ish, I think. And like, it's still, there's still so many things that I'm like, oh, I just learned how to do that. Or like, oh, I just did this for the first time and it's still working, you know? My face looks entirely different from when I did Drag Race. <laughs> I feel like I've just kind of figured it out. Um, I definitely wasn't, um, uh, not good at makeup per se when I was on the show. Um, but now I feel like I've just embraced um, bigger shapes and um, and my I like do like crazy, not crazy eyeliner. I just do very precise eyeliner now. And I feel like that has totally switched up my face. I will actually say um, since the show, I I used to be so scared of doing color. So everything was a nude cut crease or a black smoky and like now I'm like well let's pop a bit of blue in the eye you need a little more pink in the eye <laughs> you, need, you need a little more pink in that eye I think like during this quarantine to be honest um I had the opportunity to like and by opportunity I mean I just did it I went <laughs> live with Nikki a lot and Nikki Doll's makeup is absolutely flawless and she's just a good makeup artist in general and I would be like, Nikki, give me something to do. Like, let me change it up. And she would tell me what to do. And I would slowly apply the changes. And uh, it's definitely helped. And it'll definitely help me for this look today. Because I think Ariana's liner game is always on point. And um, I'm going to try to do that for myself today. But you're, I feel like, good at, like, reinventing your makeup. Like, I feel like you change things frequently like you are always playing whereas like I kind of try and do the same thing and then it ends up changing by accident well I'm moving on to the eye already I kind of am too but in a different order but I'm just adding I uh, take like a white eyeshadow just like a white color the one that's reached the pan and I just literally cover this part of my eyebrow I like do it always because I, I just think when you do a color over it it like 
it's easier to get a bright color if there's white underneath it, I find. See, the thing with my drag makeup is like, I like to do bold shapes that really pop. So like my, my liner is basically one big semicircle and then a line out and then I just connect the dots. <laughs> And that's, that's pretty much what Gaga did with this look. It's, it's like her whole lid is a semicircle of black, but I would normally do that with just strict liner and just make it pop. Whereas it's very smoky, it's very blended out, but you've still got that shape. So I love the drama mama. <gasps> did I tell you what I'm getting for my birthday or did Haley tell you? She told me because she asked me um, to, to see what my size was for you. I'm so happy for you. Do you want to share with the class? I deserve it. Yeah, I decided I've always wanted Louboutin shoes. Like I've always wanted them since I was in high school. Diva. And I decided this year is the first year I've like been able to buy them for myself. So I'm going to buy myself a pair for my birthday. In Yay! Yellow, obviously. What? Here's the thing. You know what? I deserve. You do, honey. If you work hard and you look after yourself and you're not going to bankrupt yourself, treat yourself. There's no point in stressing through life going, save it for a rainy day. Save some things for a rainy day, but mama, have some fun. This beat is sick. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl! I can't with you. <laughs> I want to take a ride to the Louboutin store. Literally. I'm doing this a bit backwards now. So she's got a harsh white liner underneath her eye that comes out and like connects in between the top and the bottom of her smoky illusion. But I'm just putting this line here just so I know where to put my black liner. It wasn't love. It wasn't love. It was a smoky illusion. The Gaga references today are on fleek. There could be a hundred queens in a room. And, nine and 99 to reference. Actually, I think you can only have up to 10. <laughs> yeah, wait, so how has how has quarantine been for y'all? We are now like finally kind of getting back into some sense of normalcy here in New York City. It's not crazy, like it, it's not back to normal, but it's we're, we're getting there. How is it for y'all where you are? And how has this whole process been? Well, we were almost there. <laughs> And then they were like, I think not. So we are like, some parts of the country, this is the mad thing. Some parts of the country are absolutely fine. Some parts are back in lockdown. Some parts you can't even leave your house. So Whoa. I'm like, as long as good old Essex stays good and everybody sticks to the rules and washes their hands, I'm going to be a happy diva. Canada's doing pretty well. I mean, like, I don't know if, you know, anywhere is doing flawlessly, but like Canada's doing pretty, pretty well and keeping things pretty well controlled. Masks are mandatory everywhere now, but things are Ditto. starting to open up. But I honestly, like, I moved out of my house to New York when I was um, 19, on my 19th birthday. So like, I haven't been home like with my family since I was 18. So for me, it's been really nice to like be with my parents and my brother and like, you know, like the whole world kind of putting into perspective how lucky that is. Totally. Mm. And yeah, so like it's been a nice time in a way for me, lots of reflection, lots of, you know, meditation, <laughs> lots of Sims. Yes. And you're really close with your family, I right? I am, yeah. We're so all super, super close, but... That's great. You know, it's great. It's so nice. And they cook so much. Yes. Yeah, it's wonderful. Lemon, I'm really loving this pink that you're putting on your eye right now. Yeah, so she has like a really blushy, a really, it's obviously like a whitish Marie Antoinette inspired face. And then she has like very blushy cheeks and everything. But I thought, why stop at just cheeks when I can make my whole damn face as blush filled as possible? I'm beginning my process of um, eyebrows. And as you can see, yes, they are uneven. Exciting for me. The divas just being mediocre. 
I was watching videos of myself doing like jump splits off bars and stuff, like five foot bars, and thinking like, A, why did I do that? And B, like, how did I do that? <laughs> like, just watching, like, why weren't you afraid of this, Lemon? Well, I used to jump into every death drop that I did, and people were like, ah, Oh, I know. Ah, like, <laughs> I, I watch videos back and I'd go, Deepa, how did you do that? But you know what? I Oh, I remember. Oh, do you, doll? Do you? Oh my god, I remember the full, like, flat, horizontal Cheryl, like, six feet in the air, and then just, <laughs> like, it, it was iconic. When I, I sold my soul. I love those Cheryl days. It was worth it, doll. Give it to me. I'm worth it. What are some moments from the VMAs that you can look back on right now that you're like, this was a time and it's an iconic moment for you? Britney with the snake. Yeah. Britney with the snake. Yeah. Coming out slave for you. Ooh. And also give me more. That's a very underrated performance. She like was really good. She I was think. really sexy. sexy. I love Britney. Yeah. Like go off. Give me more. She gave us more. What? That's what we were asking for. Right. Uh, yeah, I definitely was um, between Ariana and Britney Slave for You for my look today. I have to be totally honest with the, with the audience. Ooh. But you couldn't get a snake. But I didn't have, I couldn't get a snake. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I could have loaned you a snake. I know a few over here. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. Don't tell me with a good time, honey. Girls, girls, let's get back to the makeup. Do you know what? A, <laughs> a moment in VMA's history that I think we all need to talk about. I believe it was 2014, Beyonce doing a 13 and a half minute long performance. Every single song from the album. The VMA's is just such a platform that you could announce you're pregnant, you could announce your next album, you could an announce a diss track to somebody on the, the stage next to you. Girl, girl going, I can't believe I asked Cher to hold my meat purse. <laughs> <laughs> More then, iconic moments from she's Gaga. Just holding I mean, a bedazzled sirloin steak. She's just like, in the turn back time share. Like, <laughs> literally. Um, I'm getting to that point right now with my eyebrows. Um, and everybody, I want you to know at home, the unevenness of these eyebrows is something that you can get over. Um, I just choose not to, and I have freak outs about it. But if you're ever like, oh, my eyebrows are super uneven, just know that you're not alone. Not, a, I not am even here with alone. You. Not alone together. And, and I'm gonna just leave it at that. And I'm just literally everyone going white and then pink until I feel like the coverage and the blending's good. And I just add more and more and more and more and more until I'm like, okay. That's yeah, Cheryl's just popping on a lip, and uh, I'm about to start my eyes. So for my Ari eye, I'm definitely going to embrace a strong neutral moment, and I'll have three different shades of brown on this eye before you know it. And I'm hopefully gonna catch up to you, Cheryl. Oh my God, I remember the day that we did the Fruity Patooties when I was the grape, and I was like, I'm gonna look so busted in this face because I need to figure out what I'm doing for this grape character. That's what I did with Jojo. But I also have um, literally no contour on, like no, no nothing. It was but literally you have a, just and you, lip gloss and a little a pink bald eye cap. And a Well, bald we all cap. saw the breakdown. <laughs> and can we talk about that? I think Jojo Siwa is the next pop princess. I can't wait I'm to see her hosting I think the she's VMAs. Gonna, <laughs> she's gonna, I literally think so. She is going to grow up with her fans in the most legendary way. Just wait until you see it. She's about to win everything. Everybody, you heard it here first. Jojo Siwa taking over this next 
decade. She really will. Like, wait, just wait. I swear it. She is such she's a, a great brilliant. Performer. She's a brilliant businesswoman, and she's a great performer. And that's what it takes. I want one of the bows. I have to say, I'm a JoJo fan. <laughs> Love that bitch. Oh, no swearing. Love that lady. Sorry, sometimes my brain doesn't even register that things are swear words. Well, we all saw the breakdown I had during the commercial challenge. So, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this face on as Same. quick as possible. <laughs> Jam. And I'm gonna hit that, and then I've got time to work on what the hell I'm gonna do. It's so funny because I remember I was one of the last ones to go that day and I could not stop looking at how gorgeous I looked. I was like, cause I, the whole time on Drag Race, I felt like my makeup wasn't where it should have been. And then those last couple of days for me, I was like, finally, we're here. Oh, I can't wait to show everyone how beautiful I am. Goes home that episode. You did look beautiful <laughs> though. Like you did look really you pretty. stunning the whole time. That's literally, I think I said, in my yeah, you do. Oh, thank you. But that specifically but I, that challenge was like you looked stunning. Thank you. I I felt especially like okay, I figured it out. This is gonna be great. And then I when I got eliminated, I was like, well, you know what? At least I went out in this gorgeous gown and I look flawless. <laughs> now, my fear with doing things under the eye is I never know when to stop and I just keep adding and adding and adding. So I'm pretty sure my eye on the bottom is gonna be down by my lip soon. I always Work. do that too, but it always looks good. We love a drop shadow in this house, Cheryl. Yeah, I'm adding my second shade of brown in here. And for me, I am a believer of the fluffy brush. And I feel like anytime you use a fluffy brush to blend out a shadow, it's just going to give you an ultimate, ultimate blend. And you know what also helps? Not having eyebrows for me. I don't know how you blend so well, Lemon, with your brow. I just make sure you... like to use a thousand and one colors. Like every shade possible of pink is on my eye right now. And like if, if it's not pink, if it's like other colors, I just like literally you just keep adding until there's so much product you can't see the texture underneath. And I mean like, to the yeah, you have to like really get like your texture as flat as possible anyways, but like there's still eyebrows under there, like at the end of the day. At the end of the day, there's still eyebrows under there. I always say to people when they start stressing, they're like, oh, is this too blended? But people say, it. I'm like, don't worry, Diva, just twirl and spin so quickly that people can't even have a chance to look. That's what I always do when I'm like, are my brows even? You can't tell. So, Lemon, your season is getting near the end. How are, How is it watching yourself on TV and watching yourself go through the process of Drag Race? Because I know that we all have our own memories of what it is, and then watching it happen back months later is a totally different ball game. So how how is that for you? I love it. <laughs> but I also like I'm very vocal about <laughs> like that I'm obsessed with myself. And like sure. that trend continues. Like I just, you know, I'm a I'm a lemon fan. And we all stand lemon in right. this house. You should be a fan of your drag. Yeah, but I think, like, I feel the same way, like, honestly, watching both of you. Like, it's like watching, you know, it's also my friends are all on the season, too. So I like, get to have, like, cute moments with my friends, you know? I'm sure you guys feel yeah. the same way. It's like little shots of me and another girl holding hands. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Like, that's me and my friend. Right. You know? And it's not only, like, it's cool for us because, like, we know these people in real life, but, like, it's also cute for the fans to be like, oh, they are actually friends. I feel like our seasons have been, for the most part, kind of kumbaya seasons. Lemon, I don't know for what sure. this last episode, uh, <laughs> what's, what's going to shake out. But I definitely feel like our seasons are very um, friendly with each other and close, and that's not the yeah. case for a lot of seasons. Yeah. I mean, we had our moments, but you, like, I think everyone has those moments where you're like annoyed with people or, you know, 
And like, totally. you have to say someone's name when they ask, like, is it that deep? No. I'm gonna quote no. an absolute diva from Drag Race. I took Race. it. We're on Drag Race, how fun! <laughs> And that was my motto. <laughs> it was like, we're here, we're having fun. We're on our favorite TV show. We're doing our favorite thing every single day. How could it not be fun? I am going to put a very small little bit of liner on my eyes, just to, you know, darken that lash line. And I'm about to pop the darkest color of my neutral eye into my outer third right over here just to give it a little more zimensh. And my trick for eyeshadow is like take the brush, I use all of these colors on a different brush, and to blend it into the color that you're um, blending that into, just take the brush that you previously used and just swipe on the edges, and then you get a flawless blend. A little lick of mascara. I always get scared of mascara. So what are y'all looking forward to when quarantine ends, is there anything on your list that you're like, I must do this, I'm I, excited for this? It's been a really long time since I've seen a Jan show and I would really like to see you sing The Shallow. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'd love to sing Shallow. I'd love to come to Toronto and sing I just wanna be shallow. reunited with everybody. Yeah, like that's what I need. Yeah. Right. We need another well, for night of us three together at the bar. Two in the morning. <laughs> right, and I was just gonna say, honey, no sign you of can going catch home. us there. I was gonna say. It was more like five in the morning, right. to be honest. Yeah, yeah, let's give the kids a real timeline here. Right, I'm gonna pop a lip on, but I'm not gonna do my standard lip, because what I do is I basically line my lips to the shape I want, and then I get a very thick, heavy duty lip stick and just cover the whole lip. I don't I don't do any blending, making it look pretty. But today, I'm gonna do one color, and then I'm gonna do a middle color, and I'm gonna do the Cheryl Sin, which is put some lip gloss on. <gasps> I love I lip gloss. Oh, baby, we know. I love lip gloss. I think a face is not finished without lip gloss. I'm a matte personally. lip girl because... Lip gloss just... I'm up. Oh, that was a bit asmr -y. I think, <laughs> I think most drag- Oh, get into it. Most yeah. drag queens are uh, lip gloss free, but I just think it's such a nice touch. Yeah, Lemon, I'm with you. I am not, it's it's not complete for me until I have a glossy lip. Mm -hmm. Just a little God is shimmer. a glossy lip. I am going in with some glitter glue and some glitter on these lids. I am somebody who must do a crease. Me too. For the Jantasy to be felt. Um, and Ariana in this performance definitely has like a gold crease moment. So I'm gonna do my version of that for this to kind of marry my the two worlds together where we're keeping it true to Jan. But we're also giving a, you know, this nod to Ari. So I, love to take a flat brush and just carve it out with some white because like you lemon having that white base on top of it it just makes the color pop i love a white crease tea me too um, i do it like almost every time it's fun with like a colorful glitter in there too but yeah you do like a pop of glitter in there babe i love which glitter. i love we're all team glitter, I feel. I have only just got into glitter. What? You know. I know, I'm late to the party. I was too scared to try anything in the early days. I mean, I definitely oh, wait, can so feel that too. Like, there's a lot of times I like was like, oh, I wanna try this, but I'm on my way to a show. And if you mess it up on the way, you don't have time to fix it. So I would just do the same old thing. But yeah, I never practiced my makeup. Every time I did my makeup was getting ready for something. Me too. Sure. Wait, so how long have we all been doing drag for? Four years, me. 
Yeah, I just hit my four year mark. And mine's like probably two and a half, I think. Yeah, that scans for me. I think that makes sense. Cause you, you like started while we were living together. Yes. Oh you my God, do we have any fun stories we can tell the kids? I'm sure we do. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of family friendly stories. Yeah, right. That's the, <laughs> that's the other thing. We were dolls, though. We were dolls. I'm trying to think of and stories. Then when Connor came. Ah, uh, even more dolls. Ah, uh, the roommate's tour, baby. It'll happen. Comment below if you want to see the roommate's tour featuring Cheryl Hole. Oh, so I'm the tag along. <laughs> yeah, you got your name in it. Oh, yeah. We just got roommates. Come on, you won. Right, exactly. Oh God, here we go. What's the process? Oh, this lovely pink lip. It, see, Gaga was more subtle. She was more like real natural lip. There's no thing in natural in drag, so. Nothing. I like to bring a pop of life. Bring it to life, mama. I'm going to put some mascara on these lashes now that they're fully covered in pink. So I'm popping in this gold right now in the crease, and I'm I'm lip laughing loving. So you're gluing lashes already, doll? Yes, Diva. I'm basically done. Cannot relate personally, as I'm like putting moisturizer on. Stick in a lash on. Okay, I'm moving on to the face, so at least that's good. Better than nothing, right? Do you know why I do so much black liner and shadow? Because I don't have to be precise with what I'm putting on my lash. <laughs> that's one way to do it, for sure. Oh, gorge. See, I think she had like diamantes on her eye or rhinestones for this look. But I just used like a metallic shadow just to give depth to that eye. Oh, in the words of Juno Birch, stunning. Stunning. That's happening. Oh, wow, love Juno Birch. Now I'm just gonna set it and forget it. I am putting on the lightest foundation I possibly can to make the peasants know that I don't go out in the sun. So for the VMAs, we have six nominees for video of the year. Now, I think I know what the answer is gonna be. But I want to know what y'all think the video of the year is. Rain on me, tsunami. <laughs> yeah, like if the gays have anything to say about it, and they do. I am nervous that these Swifties are gonna pop in with the man. No, she'll get it for the, the new album next year. Who knows? Tune in to find out. You'll have to tune in to the VMAs. August 30th, 8 p.m. And everybody, I know that this didn't get nominated for a VMA. However, I think it's one of the most iconic videos of the year. Um, it's not this by the artist known as Jan. Um, so I just want to get your thoughts on what that video, you know, what that video has done for you and your year and how it's impacted you in ways that you didn't know it would. Here is a fun roommate story then about Jan and Lemon, is that I was on the other side of the wall also hearing the fireworks. So I like to believe that I'm part of it. When you see those postcards on the wall, know that I was right there. At the end of the day, Not This was the video that changed, changed the world. It gave them a reason to believe. It gave them a reason to stand up and say, I can't listen to fireworks anymore. I've got things to be doing. I've got people to see. I've got FaceTimes to answer. And that was like my intro to Cameo. And I almost deleted it, but I said, you know what? This is funny. We're gonna keep it. 
And thank God I did. Good girl. Because the world may have never known. Is she a content queen? Yes. Absolutely. Is she delivering on a daily? 100%. 100. Marketing master. And um, Okay, I'm living. I made my face very pale. Work. Good. Which is definitely the moment. And I did my crease a little bit differently than how I do it. Normally I start the eye um, over here with some white and I bring that into the rest of the crease, but Ariana definitely has a gold moment going on. So I figured why don't I just pop a little bit of white into the corner to give it that um, pop just so that you can see all the detail uh, behind it. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that's it. But now we're gonna add liner and that's gonna change everything up. So whilst these girls are finishing Mine their really makeup, does do it. I'm gonna sit here and think about what I can have for dinner. What's on the- As you deserve. What's on the menu, Shaz? Uh, besides legs, who knows? The possibilities are endless. Tea. What are you in the mood for, doll? Dancing and romancing. Oh wait, I don't think the Nolans cracked the US. So that reference has gone over everybody's head. Yeah, I'm like, oh, totally. Wait, Cheryl, why don't you give us a rapid fire question round? Oh, you know I love a quick fire round. Okay, if you could recreate any VMA performance, what would it be? Slave for you. Totally. Um. You know what? I'm gonna go rogue here um, because it was in the audience and I saw it. I was gagged at um, Jennifer Lopez's performance for when she was, um, uh, what was it? Is it the Vanguard Award? Yeah. Yes. Um, and I was in the audience for that, losing my mind. The fact that she can look that good at her age is just extraordinary. And uh, yeah, I would love to recreate that from start to finish. It was hot, it was sexy, it was full of passion. And uh, I would love to do that. Hot and dangerous. She's flawless. If you're one of us, then roll with us. Oh my God, me and my BFF Kesha. Do you know what I would do? I would do 2014 Gaga with the ears of Gaga doing applause and just starting in that white outfit with the like canvas and being like, <laughs> Hooray! It's show time! Yes! I can see that for you, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I can Why see am that. I not just Gaga? I need a little more full coverage on my mustache, I think. Okay. Let's get this contour on. Okay, this is working. Oh, we're getting somewhere, David. We're getting somewhere. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's so many people out there who I know are trying out makeup for the first time and are are starting off with, you know, saying, oh, I wanna, you know, I've always loved drag and I've admired makeup from afar, now I kinda wanna try. So just have fun with it and keep trying new things and um, you'll get there, Gorge. And just like look in the mirror and if you like something, then keep it. And if you don't, put something else over it. It really can be that simple. Just like, have fun. I always say to people, I'm always, when they go, what should I do starting out in drag? I always say, figure out what you want to say with your drag. Figure out the direction you want to go with it because you're always gonna go with a journey. So if you've got a starting point of something you want to try, just run with that instead of going, eh, I'm not too sure. Just figure out your voice, figure out what you wanna say and just don't forget to have fun. That's the main part, have fun. Did y'all have fun when you were on Drag Race? Like fu fully, or were, you, or were you stressed? Uh, I was stressed, but I was having the time of my absolute yeah. life. But I think also by episode two, everything I wanted had already happened. Right, you got a challenge Which win. is very lucky, but I was like, the two things I was really afraid of were like, not win I was really scared to not win a lip sync, the first lip sync. Right. Um, and then like after that, I was like, okay, well, you know, after this, if I go home, at least I've like kind of made 
you know, and then my dance life proud. Right. Um, and then I really wanted to win something, and I was lucky enough to win the maxi week two, and then from then on out, I was like, okay, well, now I can just have fun. <laughs> Right, you were literally like, okay, cool, so now I'm just gonna continue to win pretty much every episode, whether it's a mini or a <laughs> Oops. I wouldn't know about winning just, anything. Just having a fun. Me too, <laughs> me too, Cheryl. I said on- Hey, I won enough for all of us. What prizes you guys want? I know, yes! I was gonna say, I think I said on Twitter, I was like, thank God that Lemon went in and brought some gold back for the household because uh, <laughs> I did not bring back anything anything but you know what it, it really isn't about winning obviously it's no. easier for me to say that because i won a lot Losing is <laughs> <the new laughs> it really isn't like it really isn't about winning like it's you know it's not it's about being you like and having the time i won yeah i won a sure. mini challenge and i and i won 15 seconds to grab some rubber gloves so that's surely something <laughs> my look doesn't have like contour obviously it's very blushy but I think I'm going to just contour my nose a little bit with a blush, just so I can give myself the nose job that I deserve. I'm about to put my orangey blush on right now. And give this face some color. Do you want to know a fun story about one of my runways? Would love to. So my rainy day runway, I was again, one of the first finish. So I was like leisurely taking my time wandering around and I had some slippers in the workroom, which you can see in quite a few episodes where I'm just like casually mooching around in my slippers. So I, <laughs> I was sitting there, Davina zipped me up and then she carried on. I sat down, started to put on my nails and then all of a sudden my rainy day runway zip went and Davina was literally like okay ping 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 nails off and she was like there like come on we can get this zip up and then she just put on some gloves and she was like I don't care about the nails and I was like DDC got my back but we shared the station together so we had that bond yeah me me and juice box shared the station day one so like it was really sad seeing her go because we literally had the entire day of like just us two. On our season, there weren't enough stations for the girls and we, uh, Jada didn't have a station. So Jada moved right in next to me. And when she like unzipped all of her drag, I was like, oh, okay, I see you. So Cheryl, you've been done for three hours. Um, Lemon, where are you in your process? I'm like nearing the end, <laughs> but cool. trying to make like a blurred out dusty lip kind of situation and it's proving quite difficult. I'm just on the edge of glory. Work. And I'm on the edge of glory. This is a, uh, woo, this is a face. <laughs> so Lem, how are you doing this like dusty lip? Because I, I am terrible at lips. So I would just be like, so, what I normally do with my lips is I literally will just put like a liquid and then like smack them together like fully. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but I think I'm just a little blurring the edges a little bit. I get a brush actually and literally just like blur these. It's a 2 a.m. lip. Yeah, I'm about to get into this nude fantasy because Ari's lips are nice and pursed. She's got gorge lips and I I, uh, I would like them. I would like them. And you know what guys? A leaky eye is not the end of the world because mine is still going strong. Work, rain on me, tsunami. Hands up to the sky. Ugh. I love that song <laughs> so much. It's well, shall we just flash back to one of your Instagram lives where it was on repeat for a good hour? Yes. Mm hmm And I popped in several times because I was like in and out of the bath and I was like, still playing. She's getting those streams in. 
Oh, that's why. Because I literally, uh, that's, I, I have to say, I do think that I was a big, um, I think I was a big um, component as to why that song went number one. I went live and I think I had like a thousand followers in the live and I told everybody, get on your computer, stream rain on me while we're doing this and we're going to get so many and like, just turn on your phone, turn down the volume and put it on replay. You can listen to my version that's playing through my iPhone right now. Hopefully we don't get taken off. And I think we had like, we must have had thousands and thousands of streams, like tens of thousands if everybody was doing their part. Right and on uh, me. And that's just like what I can do. The gays are so powerful. We are. I'm literally just taking like a powder right now and like blurring it in softly. Just on the edges like this to make it look just natural and plump and juicy. So you're looks. taking smoother. <laughs> Stunting pretty. I'm the girl from the Essex City. I'm about to pop on a nudie pink lip. See, Chan, you, I am always fascinated when you do your lip because it just suddenly comes together the minute you put that nude in the middle. I've, tr I've tried to do it. Don't happen for me. Yeah, I, I think that my lips are one of my favorite parts about my drag. And I also think that Ariana definitely has very defined lips. And uh, it was in a similar color scheme to what I normally do. So I actually don't have to stray too far away from what Jan normally does. I honestly just like, I, I do the same thing with my eye. I just like put more and more things until I'm like, oh, now I like it. Like I do the same thing with my eye makeup too though. So I don't have, I mean, I have like favorite things that I like often play with, but like it's never the same like collection of things. It'll just be like, oh, I feel like a red lip, so I'll put on a red. And then I'm like, oh, it's too light, so I'll put a little nude in it. And then it's like, oh, I want it a little more pink, so I'll put a pink in it. You know what I mean? And I just like keep kind of going in that until there's like seven layers on and I'm like, oh, I love it. So now I have to pop on lashes. I'm doing the same thing, Dolly. Oh, good. So normally I like to do a PC lash, especially lately these days, but I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead with doing uh, what I like to call a little Debbie. Mine are pretty petite too today. They're not quite a little Debbie, but they're they're like a sweet little soft moment. I have a lash on. I just put a little more gloss. I'm looking for, this gloss is the cheapest in the whole world. It's a dollar or two dollars. But you know what? Sometimes there's a difference between cost and value and this is the most valuable product I've ever found. Work. A must have for being Madonna is the classic, infamous beauty mark. I take a fluffy brush dip it in to uh, like pigment and then slowly but surely on the apple of my cheek like here I go <laughs> so I am done with my Ariana interpretation and this is definitely different than what I normally do Normally, I like to make the eyes a little bit brighter and I normally have like a white shadow that's in my crease, but Ariana had a pop of gold, which I thought was so stunning. Um, and my eyebrows are very different. I, I, I think that Ariana is normally in a like, oh, mm, like pouty sad girl, but like she's ultimately very happy. But I think that her eyebrows are a big part of why that look comes to be. And so my eyebrows are a little more horizontal than I normally would do them. And I think that that helps me to achieve that kind of look. Um, but Cheryl and Lemon, I'm looking at y'all and y'all look absolutely stunning and amazing. Um, Lemon, this pink is just incredible. So here is the finished makeup. It's a little different than your classic lemon, but it's it's Madonna inspired. And once you see the full look, you're gonna gag. And Cheryl, you have been done for five hours now. And I have to say, 
the mug is sitting. You look so gorgeous and good. And this is a different eye for you than what you normally do. So this is the face complete. Now it's a bit different from your quintessential sheds makeup. I mean, firstly, I've got a bit of gloss on my lip. I mean, Miss Gargoyle's going for the full smoky moment. I mean, that was Shed 2016. But when you see the outfit and the hair to gives, you will see why we're here today. And we're all stunning international dolls. Iconic VMA queens. Alrighty, y'all. So we are done with our faces. Should we get into our looks right now? I'm yes, ready to queen. stunt Let's some do looks. Us. I'm so I'm excited. So ready. Yay. Let's get into it. Alrighty, everyone. So we are back and we are in our final looks. I'm obviously recreating God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. Yeah. Divas, what are y'all doing? This is less obviously Madonna's Vogue, but you know, a doll had to do it in yellow. What can I say? And here I am in head to toe paparazzi. Blood, not quite in the eye, but we are following you until you love me, Divas. Well, y'all, I think we look absolutely incredible. Let us know what y'all think. But everybody, please make sure that you are tuning in to the VMAs on MTV August 30th at 8 p.m. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. We had so much fun. Dolls, I had the best time with you I have today. So much Love you guys fun. so much. Honestly, anytime I get to hang out with you two divas is an absolute dream. So let's wait and hopefully be reunited very soon. International divas! I want to get out on the road. I want to have people see these costumes in real life. Do you think we can make that happen? Oh, absolutely. International VMA TV Diva Tour. We can make it happen, right? Alrighty, everyone. Make sure that you tune into the VMAs on August 30th at 8 p.m. only on MTV.